Now that we have described the important object-oriented concepts on which UML is based, let's just introduce the unified modeling language. The unified modeling language, it's a, it's a graphical language. It's a visual technique to model the requirements of analysis and design for object-oriented systems. There are basically 14 object-oriented diagrams in UML, although we're only going to use predominantly five, six, or seven of them. The, the primary, the initial, the most important diagram is the use case. Diagrams represent different perspectives or views into the system. That is, consider having an apple and you slice the apple from different angles. Each slice gives you a different perspective inside the apple. This is very similar, analogous to what you do with UML diagrams. They represent the requirements of the system, but from different perspectives or, ang or angles. You have so-called static diagrams that show requirements at a point in time, and you, you have so-called uh, behavioral or dynamic diagrams that show the requirements over a period of time. So UML has become a, an industry standard. So the, the static diagrams are called st structural diagrams, and they consist of the class diagram, object diagram, package, deployment, component, and composite structure. And the behavioral diagrams are the diagrams over time. The diagrams include activity diagrams, sequence diagram, communication diagram, interaction overview, timing, and the state machine, and the use case. Okay, we're only going to look at, these probably are 14 in all. We're only going to look at five or six of them predominantly. We're going to look at the class diagram. We're going to look at the object diagram. We're going to look at the deployment diagram and possibly the component diagram. We're also going to look at activity diagrams, sequence diagrams, and interaction diagrams, and possibly state chart or state machine diagrams. Of course, at this point, you're not going to completely understand what all of these symbols are. Understanding the symbols in each individual diagram is important, and we'll work through that diagram by diagram. But what this slide demonstrates is that the different diagrams and perspectives all relate to each other and tie into each other. And in many cases, one diagram is an, is an explosion, so they say, of the component of another diagram. For example, this, this is an appoint, appointment use case, this one on the left. And the process of making an appointment is exploded or expanded and demonstrated in this sequence diagram. Okay. On the other hand, You'll have a class diagram for the entire system, but you can develop, a class diagram is a static diagram, you can develop a, a state chart or state machine diagram, which is a sense of looking at the class diagram at a particular point in time. Okay, the, uh, it takes a while, you'll get it. All you need to do is keep up and everything will be fine.